had an aunt who lived in Italy. My mother was French. She was brought up in Italy and my aunt lived in Italy and I first went to Florence where my aunt lived in 1949 so I was, I was very young I was, I was about 10 and my aunt lived in a, in a village just on the edge of Florence called San Domenico and where a painter called Fra Angelico lived and um, I was taken to see some of his paintings and I can absolutely remember the sort of purity of the colour, the purity of, of line and I particularly remember the, the contours were unequivocal, they were just exactly in, in the right place and there was a, a marvellous calm, and there was a marvellous beauty about it and, it was, and I, I, I think that has probably influenced me a lot. And I go to Italy a lot, and uh, Florence, I absolutely love Florence, it's, I know it like the back of my hand. And the three paintings that you're referring to are to do with the buildings, three, three important buildings in Florence. Uh, one being the Cappella Pazzi. The other one is, is the, the, particularly the facade of the Santa Maria Novella and it's, it's got this superb sort of quality of, of um, freedom and beauty and movement it, and, and the other one is the, the baptistry which is in the centre of Florence and it's a superb sort of hot, um, octagonal building and I, I just wanted to I, I, I made models, I made the basic uh, box as it were and used the same box for the three different uh, paintings just changing the insides and so on. All gone, yes, they don't exist anymore. The thing is that they, 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 they're, they're quite sort of um, um, fragile in many ways because I use bits of paper and they only work with the light coming from a particular direction. They only work from one aspect. So you can't, they, you can't uh, exhibit them. They, 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 they're meaningless as things in themselves. But they're a sort of marvellous starting point for me.